Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we've been talking about, we started yesterday talking about prophecies and how they come to pass. And I was telling you yesterday that, look, understanding is key in understanding prophecy, in, 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 in getting prophecy to be fulfilled. Because if you don't understand the prophecy, if you don't understand now, one thing that makes people not to understand prophecy is because they don't understand God. They don't know how God speaks. Jesus speaking to the Jews one time, I think that's in John chapter 8, he says, how, how come you do not understand my speech? See, Jesus said, why don't you understand my speech? Then he says, it's because you don't hear my words. I mean, they don't understand your speech. And then you're saying, because they don't hear your words. So how would they hear your words and don't understand your speech? So if they don't hear your words, how would they even understand your speech? Now, what was Jesus saying? They, they hear him speaking, but they don't, you know, they are dead. Their ears are open, not like they were dead, they were physically dead. So they, they, they hear him speak. But because their heart is not connected to him, they don't understand what he's saying. See, now you find this with a lot of people. You're talking to them. Okay, okay, okay. But then the next thing says, oh, how far would I say you should do that? Huh? So, so what happened? But I told you to do this. No, you didn't. But I did yesterday. We said this. Oh, I actually thought you meant this. Uh, understanding. Now, I read something in Genesis chapter 15 and verse 13. Look at what God said. He says, And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be, in a, shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them. And they shall afflict them 400 years. That God said they are going to be strangers in the land. And then they are going to afflict them for 400 years. Now watch this. And he says, And also that nation whom they shall serve, I will, I, will I judge. And afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Now here is Abraham standing before the Lord in a vision. And then God says, your children are going to be in a foreign land. And they are going to serve them and they will afflict them for 400 years. And then God now said to Abraham, look, look, after 400 years, I'm going to bring them out. And they are going to come out with great substance. Now, notice God, what God said. One, they will be in a foreign land. So there will be a movement from where they are to a land that is not theirs. And then secondly, there was a time frame for that stay. See, and then... God said 400 years. And then second, the next, there is a, the, the content of their stay is going to be affliction. See, they are going to be afflicted. First, they will serve them and then they will afflict them. Then God says, when, after the time is fulfilled, after 400 years, now God didn't say the exact time he's going to free them. He just said, after 400 years. You now, sometimes people argue that uh, it's because of Moses. We're going to get into all that stuff. That, that's why they spent 430 years instead of 400. No, God didn't say, I will, I will save you on the 400th year. No, he said they are going to be in a foreign land and they will serve and afflict them for 400 years. Then God says, I will then judge that nation that, you know, that, that they served. And then after that, I will now free them. So God didn't say exactly, but he said the mark to know that it's over is 400 years. You're, you need to understand that. Now watch this. Verse 15. And thou shalt go to thy father in fathers in peace, meaning that you're going to die. Thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. But in the fourth generation shall they come either again. For the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet Oh, notice that. Notice what God said. He said, in the fourth generation, they will come. Not us. That fourth generation people, the people of the fourth generation, are the ones that are going to come out of this place. And, then, and, and the reason God gave for this prophecy is that the iniquity of the Amorite is not yet full. Note that. So now, nobody sinned for God to say this. Abraham didn't even have a son yet. It's not because Abraham did something wrong that God is saying, look, I'm going to discipline you by doing this to you. And God was not saying, look, your children are going to be misbehaving, so I'm going to deal with them. He didn't even have a child yet. 
But God said the reason, the purpose of this moving to another land and coming back is because the iniquity of the Amorite is not yet full. The Amorites were occupying the land that God had already given to Abraham. See, now, why would God give a land to somebody that is already occupied? Because he is God. That's number one. Number two, these things have been written concerning Abraham. Are you following me? It is already written concerning Abraham. And let me tell you this thing. Oh, our time is up. <laughs> this thing. Let me just tell you this. There is land and places that have been apportioned to you. Just like Abraham. And it took the voice of God to lead him to his land. Now, I'll expand on this tomorrow. Praise God. Don't miss it tomorrow. Have a beautiful day today. Step out with joy in your heart. Because the things God has said to you is going to be fulfilled. And this is the season. That's why God said we're in the season of restoration. Praise God. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.